Good morning traders, welcome to this Phoenix Blue morning update for Tuesday the 16th of February. I have to start with an apology for yesterday's morning update, not making it to YouTube on time. We had some technical difficulties. Um, it is there now if you want to take a look, but apologies for that and we will ensure that that doesn't happen again. Okay, over to the markets. Let's have a look at the news yesterday. Well, it was a US bank holiday, so liquidity was low. Um, so not a huge amount of interest in the markets. We saw some uh, decent retail, sorry, trade balance figures from the Chinese. And then in the afternoon, we had Mario Draghi, the ECB president, reiterating his stance um, on supporting the Eurozone. Um, that moved the euro down a good 1% whilst he was talking um, and just leads the market to expect or further expect um, a reduction in the already negative interest rates and or an increase in the levels of quantitative easing uh, at the next announcement in March. Um, since then, we've had the monetary policy meeting minutes from the Australians. They were very positive about low interest rates. They were talking about those being good for the retail economy, being good for house building and being good for exporters, um, clearly showing that they're endeavouring to move the balance of their economy um, away from troubled commodities. So what do we have news wise today? Well, we for the pound, we have um, CPI at 9.30, German economic sentiment at 10 o'clock, manufacturing sales for Canada at 1.30, and then the dairy price index for New Zealand um, that usually arrives with us early afternoon UK time. OK, over to the markets. Um, the big news since the weekend's been um, the strengthening of the one against the US dollar. And this is a reaction by the People's Bank of China um, to falling equities markets worldwide. Um, that has led to a fear of worldwide deflation. The, play, the blame for that has been put on the devaluation of the yuan. So they've come straight back after their week-long bank holiday. And the yuan is now back at the levels from the back end of last year. Um, the head of the People's Bank of China also said that they weren't willing to let speculators dominate the markets, and that appears to be their reaction to that. Uh, on the stock exchanges, on the Shanghai Composite we've got here, um, we saw a bullish day after an opening gap yesterday. Um, we've had an opening gap long today, and prices moved up to the 2015 lows. Um, be very interesting to see whether this resistance holds out or whether that move will actually have the strength to push um, Chinese equities through those 2015 lows. Uh, over in Japan, the Nikkei, uh, here we had the uh, announcement of negative interest rates by the Bank of Japan. Uh, had the desired effect. We then know that the markets drove everything completely against what they'd done there. We've had somewhat of a recovery here. Um, on the back of what we believe to be some intervention from the Bank of Japan, but also that's been supported by what the Chinese have done with their exchange rate. Um, we're now back to basically where we started before um, the uh, negative interest rates came into play. So it'll be interesting to see how that one also plays out. OK, over to the dollar index. Uh, well, yesterday we had a, bull a bullish day on the dollar index. Interesting, we've got this uh, trend line here coming back to retest. We saw the, the, the same on this downward trend line here. So we've got the dollar in an area where with an element of some uncertainty at the moment. We want to see a break above this level um, to return to our bullish stance on that. OK, over on the yen. Well, we've seen a response to um, what we believe is um, Bank of Japan intervention in the currency uh, through here. The uh, deval sorry, the, the strengthening of the WAM also has had an effect here. Um, we're in this trade. We're in trades right across the um, JPY pairs in this direction. Um, so, and we're getting very positive moves through there. They were relatively low risk spread across all the markets because um, it is intervention that's driving that rather than just the markets themselves. Okay, over to gold. Now, we had a trade here on gold yesterday. Um, we were looking to get in on the confluence of this trend line here and support through here. The trade did fail, broke below our stop. 
we now have another order in at this level here that's a really lovely level of um, support going back um, to 2009 2010 again touches through 2013 um, and more recent touches here through the last quarter of last year if we have a look at the daily chart for that we also had that a lovely uh, retest of that level through there last week um, so we're long in we're long we've got an order in long in that pair we also have another order in should that fail um, down at this level where we've got confluence with the trend line here again we're, we're absolutely bullish this market it's just a case of how far it's going to pull back at this moment in time okay well that's about it for today um, because of the bank holiday yesterday, not a lot to look forward to. Last week, there was a lot of uncertainty in the markets. So in a lot of markets, we're waiting for things to settle before we move forward um, with uh, placing trades. We'll bring you details of those on a daily basis with the morning updates. Now, if you like what you hear, uh, please um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, leave comments, like us. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, um, email us at info at Phoenix Blue Trading. Um, anything you'd like to know, again, info at training, Phoenix Blue Trading. Keep an eye on Instagram, day, daily updates uh, through the day there. Okay, uh, well, that's it for today short and sharp but we will look forward to speaking to you again in the morning okay thanks for listening bye bye